Let's go through some settings you need to change in Modern Warfare 2 right now. So some of these settings will be personalized, of course, according to what you like, how powerful your PC is, and all of that stuff. But there are other settings that it's undeniable if you're on console, PC, you need to change these here. So we're going to break them down, plus some more in this video. The first one here, super quick, field of view. Most people already know about this. If you've been on PC, you've already had this enabled and you brought this up a little bit. But I want to make sure absolutely everyone knows because this time around, field of view is on absolutely every single platform here so console and pc can now have their field of view setting at change which is very important because again the further out you go you could see on the right here to 120 you could see more of the screen more of what's going on around you and the more you zoom in at down to 60 the more focused your screen is but the less you're seeing around you now the key here is to of course go up you don't want to be stuck at 60 or 80 but you don't want to go too high most pro players actually only stay between at 90 and 100 fov because when there's two too much going on on screen and it's too wide you can't focus on your target you can't focus on these kills now if you could go on 120 and focus on all the kills in front of you and aim correctly then good on you you're an absolute beast but for most people a hundred is the sweet spot that's where i'm at right now you get a better view of what's going on around you but you can still focus in and accurately aim on enemies in front of you so i'd recommend bringing that up but not too high for me a hundred is the sweet spot for sure i want to skip straight here to a very important part of your settings the graphics settings this will drastically impact what your game looks like and your overall experience playing this game so first off on display there isn't much here Again, I'm on an RTX 2070 Super, so I can't really have the max settings. So this video is good if you have a less powerful PC like me, but still pretty good to run some solid settings here. I don't have a 3070 or 4090, but you know, we're still doing good here with the 2070 Super. It's a great graphics card, but I have dynamic resolution off really doesn't look good it takes up a bunch of your you know space there with your gpu not worth it vsync gameplay and menus i have that off as well and that's pretty much it there now for quality this stuff is pretty important we have render resolution i'm playing in 1440p we have at 100 right there pretty important we have fidelity which is super important if you're on pc you've had this feature but if you're on console you just got it and i have it up at 50 uh some people bring it up to 60 as well it makes the game look a lot more sharp a lot better it is a great great setting there so make sure you change this increase it it's going to start off i'm pretty sure at zero so at least bring it up to 20 30 to test it out to 40 50 you'll probably see a massive difference here this is one of the main things you have to change for sure it's going to make the game look so much better you're going to have a much better experience playing this game here so that's that this one here not a big deal these two really are the same at this point we'll go down here to video memory scale i have this a bit lower at 85 this sets a percentage target amount of vram for mw2 to use more vram helps the game's performance but may cause hitching if not enough is left for other applications to use so again like i said i don't have the best gpu so i want to bring this down a little bit i might have to bring this down even more honestly to 80 here so that's just a testing thing but i want to recommend if you have a lower gpu like me or definitely below a 2070 maybe bring this down a little bit so your game runs nice and smooth and for the details and texture here i have a lot of mine on high and i mean my gpu can run it but sometimes my game does lag and it you know you you lose a little bit of fps there and the smoothness of the game when you keep all of these on high for the most part, I have a pretty good experience, but if you guys are experiencing any issues with that, maybe try to bring these down a little bit to normal. Uh, you'll see a massive difference here. If you see with texture resolution here, bring that down to normal. We have the estimated VRAM usage go down massively. We'll bring it back up there. So it takes a lot of your RAM there. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind. Overall, bring these down a little bit if you're experiencing some issues with that. Some more stuff here. We have NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. This is used to reduce system latency, which increases PC responsiveness. I have this on here, of course. As I said, I don't have the best GPU, so I want this on. And I took off my face cam so you guys could read here. We have on and boost as well which may also be important low latency mode is now enabled and optimizing system latency additionally gpu clock frequencies are kept high in cpu bound cases this can reduce latency but will increase gpu power draw if you have a better gpu but not the best cpu you could have on and boost there that'll make that a little better now some quality settings here you absolutely have to change these you have to disable because i'm pretty sure when you start playing this game any call of duty in the past 
these would all be enabled here. So the first one, depth of field, you'll see off, out of focus blur is disabled, and on, stimulates camera lens, out of focus regions appear blurry. You don't really want that to happen. I guess it helps you focus in if you're sniping. I, this is probably good. But in most case scenarios, if you're pushing up and you aim down sights, you don't want any other blur. You want still full vision of what's going on around you, where the enemies are coming from, and you just don't want that on. You don't want any more blurring on your screen than you need. We have world motion blur again most people know by now to turn this off but you could see there the blur is just way too much the before and after picture here let me turn off my face cam again it's kind of crazy how much it blurs not only does it distract you from other enemies that might be in front of you or other things that are going on it makes my head hurt it's super super weird and a weapon motion blur as well not as bad and not as important to turn off but i would still turn it off here as you could see it's just annoying to look at. It makes things a little weird. I want to see my weapon in clear, full, sharp vision. That's why we turn that fidelity up. And I want to make sure I can see clearly when I'm aiming down sights, when I'm moving my weapon around. I just want to see that as clear as possible. So I don't want any blurring in that process. So definitely turn this off here. But probably the number one thing out of all of these three, if you had to turn off one, turn off world motion blur. This is way too distracting. And if you want to get better as a player as well, you got to turn this off. Now for some more settings here, we're in the advanced controller settings. This one is pretty important i mean we have aim assist types i have it on default you can change this depending on what you want precision people use black ops from that game as well so that all could be changed depending on your personal preference a big one here is aim response curve type this one dynamic is the reverse s curve mapping for fine aim rate control this is what most pro players use it's very smooth in the game of course it's very simple as checking this out if you use standard it's probably not a big deal um, obviously there are other settings that make your game look a lot better and run a lot better this one is more of a personal preference doesn't matter if you're on PC or console if you're using a controller dynamic seems to be the best one here but of course if you don't like it feel free to change that back to standard that should be fine as well I played on standard for a while but dynamic just is a little better you'll notice a good difference there so be sure to check that one out of course we have a dead zone here this one again is if you have stick drift if you got a new controller, you don't have any stick drift you should be fine I don't really experience any of this here so i don't even touch these settings i don't want to mess up my controller there but overall that's that we have of course sprint and tactical sprint behavior i have toggle here auto move forward i don't want that on at all uh tax sprint i have double tap grounded mantle i have this on this one's a bit weird um if you have off the jump button won't make you mantle when you're on the ground you must first jump and then you mantle and if you have it on the jump button will make you mantle on nearby objects i don't find this annoying honestly because when i'm up against an object uh chances are i want to jump over it i want to get through a window quickly i want to get above this area but if you're a person that stays near different covers but you don't want to jump over it you want to just like hide behind it or aim above maybe you want to turn this off so you're not constantly jumping above by accident and then getting shot by enemies it depends on the type of play style you are if you're more of a fast paced player maybe have this on slow paced to turn this off uh, again depends on your you know play style but overall that's what i have here and the rest of these here are all up to personal preference for the most part for sensitivity i have it on four which is probably pretty low but I saw this Allier video back during COD Ghost. I would always play on max sensitivity, but I saw this one Allier video, and he said the pro players use a slower sensitivity. It's easier to aim down sights. And the first game I played with my slower sensitivity that I saw from Allier, I got a chem strike on strike zone in COD Ghost. And ever since then, I've been playing on a slower sensitivity. So I like it a lot more. I noticed there are some cracked players that play with super high sensitivity. I know there was a pro player, a royalty, super high sensitivity. I think, um, it was a, a BZ Simp or Celium. One of the phase Atlanta phase players uh, plays at a super high sensitivity. I'm not so sure on that, but overall, people can do it. If you're like that guy or if you're like anyone who plays on a super high sensitivity and you, you play well like that, that's crazy. I mean, you are cracked, but for most people, if you're having problems aiming or playing a bit well i mean lower the sensitivity it's gonna make a big difference it'll allow you to aim more and you can still rush and push and play more of a fast paced style of game even if your sensitivity is a bit lower but that's pretty much it here for these settings we went through pretty much the main settings you need to change here of course there are other settings here 
for keyboard and mouse, your key binds. I'm not gonna go through all of that because that's just on personal preference. I have most of the key binds on default here, so for me, it's not a big deal. Audio, all depends on you. You could change that to your liking. But for the graphics there, what we went through, very important with quality and view especially. So be sure to check that out. If this video helped you, be sure to subscribe for more MW2, Warzone 2, news, update, tip, trick videos like this. Shout out to YouTube channel members as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.